this most recent update we've seen a change to the combat system in the game. Going into detail on everything and that would be a little bit too complicated for a video like this, but the most important thing in this context is that commanders with total stats have indirectly been buffed because you no longer need a commander's troop type for them to use their active ability and you can therefore just use the same total stat commanders in every single formation and get use out of them. This sounds like a small change but honestly it's a massive difference and it's totally changed my own plans when it came to Awakening because you can now just invest heavily in a few total attack commanders and run them in literally every single formation. Before if you couldn't buy up everything as a mid-level spender I feel like you had to choose between getting really good stats for just one or two lines or only decent stats across all three and without all the high-end premium total attack stuff like the troop appearances and sapphire dragon and whatnot. Most of us tried to specialize and focus in our buffs because that was the best way for us to be competitive with the higher end accounts. Before if you were trying to run say imp cav and you had imp attack, cav attack, total attack and army size and refinement, I don't think upgrading Annie was necessarily a good investment because you either feel forced to use spearmen in your marches when your buffs would be terrible for them or two you just didn't get our active ability off which was a huge DPS loss compared to the other options you had. Now you can get something like Annie up to three stars and just run her in literally every formation. She'll always get her active ability off, she'll always have strong buffs and that changes the power balance in places when it comes to deciding what to do with your tokens I think. So there's, there's going to be a few little bits of movement in this tier list compared to before. I think Raymond will still be at the bottom. Just in terms of what he brings is such a lower priority compared to everything else. Like if you're spending epic tokens you surely want to improve your PvP stats first and foremost. Like you're not going to be getting them up on a farm account because you just won't be able to have an income of epic tokens or have him at gold. He is the 8% passive total defense at 4 star but that's just such an afterthought compared to everything else. Before I had Andrea, Lena and Miranda in B tier but I think they dropped down a tier now for a few reasons. So one they're being power creeped by the likes of Lats, like Lats is basically the same as Andrea but just better with I think she is 16% more stats for Imp Attack, Imp Defense and Imp Health and her 4 star ability is significantly better than Andrea's too so if we see a trend of that with the same commanders for Spear and Cav too these are dropping down in value like you can only run 5 commanders and you have all the total attack commanders too to run plus if you're a huge spender you've got the legendary token commanders and Cersei and John and whatnot so there just isn't really a, a spot for them or that they're dropping down on the list at least. They're also very all in on that one troop type so you can go all in on Miranda for example but you could just get Annie and Annie would both be better for spear formations as it is because the stats would be higher especially if you're running well if you're running two lines at minimum at least but then Annie can also be ran in every other formation in the game now and be incredibly good so these are very rigid in their formational flexibility and now with this change to the combat system I think flexibility is everything they seem to be pushing changing formations a lot more I feel like like now investing in these total attack commanders is ideal and with the, the badge presets and stuff like that you can swap formations easier than ever before even as non-max accounts which we never really saw previously in my opinion that you could to an extent but it's so accessible now and you can just really do it on the fly so I think these three really lose out because of that I do think Lats belongs in B tier if, if you're running an imp focused uh, formation 
obviously sh she'll go up. Same with these, like if Andrea for informations will be about an A probably. Same with Lena and Miranda for, for Spear and Cav. So Lats, Lats is very very strong. I think where she probably stands out a bit over those other three options is her 4 star ability is actually very good. So we it's 5% imp defense every 3 seconds. So that will full stack and I assume 18 seconds but it will probably start at 1. So stack by 19. I think Fights are meant to last 45 seconds, but all my recent reports have only gone up to 40. And this is a consistent trend I've noticed. Like it just ends at 40. I think all these previous reports are, yeah. It won't load the battle record because they've changed the system. But even in like rebel camps that go the distance, you can see it ends at 40 rather than 45 so that will leave about 21 seconds to stack that healing ability up so you'll get maybe 6 or 7 procs of that off in a fight I think and it will start stacking about halfway through the fight so you'll have a decent amount of wounded at that point so it'll be about 50% of the way through the fight to 100%. So I think maybe a rough number of around 4 to 6% of your total infantry defeated in the fight will come back. Which if you do the maps on, say in that saved report I have here, it's about 800k defeated on the front as infantry. If you take 5% of that, that would be, say, 40,000 army size indirectly, effectively. And then if you do it in a solo, like, this is 200k defeated. That would be about 10k army size indirectly. Using army size as a metric is probably a, a bit off, but it's the, the best comparison I have. That's pretty decent alongside the 30% the inf defense as well. I mean, 1% is a low number, but if you frame it in that, that army size way, I think it is kind of decent. Now, these 4 star abilities are often kind of bad. Like, Andrea, Lena, Miranda's are, are very boring and don't do much. But there's a lot more interactivity there with Lance's. It's definitely a lot better than those frees. And before I had Fion in this tier because I didn't like how no one is running Bowman so he would never get his active ability off but now he will with this change to the combat system so he'll move up a tier I think obviously if you're a 15 mil troop rally tank he is ridiculous because he'll give well he gives 45% total attack at 3 star with max books and then his 4 star ability if you have 15 mil troops at home will ramp up to 95% which no one else can really compare to at all plus he'll get his active ability off he'll just pull the damage from the the imp, cav and spear so if you're tanking rallies he is crazy but if you're just like a zero castle and soloing and stuff like that I mean maybe 80 is better because he does have combat rate and leadership in the tavern which is the best of any of these options plus he's very very good for rebel leaders so he has some indirect uses there outside of combat but I think this is a better spot for him if I could put him between the two tiers I'd probably put him there bordering on the two but when you compare him to well, I'm going to put an A tier, I don't think he's as good as them. I'll put Julian in A tier. He's effectively a total attack commander. He has 78% spear attack, 76% imp attack, and 76% cav attack. So, let's say 77% total attack. 
that's very very good like on solos that's about over 30 percent higher than Fion's that's a lot of stats plus you can now run him in every formation so Inf Cav he'll still do his active ability which is huge he is bugged right now at 4 star I think but that should be fixed soon so I won't go into that obviously right now he's probably off the charts on how good he is but when that's fixed he should be about here in my opinion Annie I think is the best option still by far the fact she now goes into every formation is just so big her stats are just so insane like if you're running Imp Cab for example it will be 45% Imp Defense 45% Imp Attack 45% Cab Attack and 16.5% Imp Health like that that's like the, her worst case scenario and she'll still get her active off with, and that's just crazy like for defending you triple up on, on the total attack if they break through lines all the, all the total defensive stats will add in in that inf cav example as well if you if you have your buffs on infantry and cavalry she'll then pull the damage from those infantry and cavalry but then do spear damage with it so you can maximize your buffs on those two unit types but then have the commanders cover the third counter with their own damage which I think is a very interesting dynamic now and might actually be quite a meta thing to do for mid spenders because you can cover all three troop types whilst only actually buffing two directly plus the totals because especially with Annie and Julian being so strong I think that's quite an interesting option to explore her four star is obviously a very very good ability as well though the top two or three epic token abilities easily especially with the uh, synergy with Layla if you can manage to get that so Annie is just cream of the crops she, she's so good I think she definitely belongs at the top of the tier list Layla I, again I go back and forth on where to, to place her I want to place her here bordering on ANS but if you're cab front she's S tier if you're able to get a 4 star she's also S tier but both of those are quite niche situations so cav front is obviously the least popular front line because spears shred it so hard because they have the highest base damage so they counter the hardest and then and a 4 star whilst very good it, it probably isn't your main priority to get first because it pulls off uh, other commanders active abilities where is she so ideally you want all the commanders in your formation to be both female and four stars because at four stars you get that three second cooldown reduction on the active ability jump so if you have a formation like what's an example of this like this is probably most realistic with Haley maybe in like Imp Spear or Imp Cav and they're all 4 stars then Layla is obviously absolutely ridiculous but you need so many tokens to get to that point so for a general tier list I think she belongs in A tier because she only gives 40% a little less actually I think 39.6% total attack at 3 stars at max which is lower than Annie, lower than Fion, lower than Julian all at 3 stars as other total attack alternatives so it's only that 4 star ability and for Cav front where she pulls ahead so here's where I'm gonna put her and this is how I think the tier list looks for this current update there's a few changes these three dropping down a tier from B to C Fion moving up, all the total attack commanders I think pulling away more and more from these lower tier ones even if it doesn't show directly in the tier list itself I could potentially add, add a, another row in there to, to show that and Lats is a, a very good addition 
Her ability's good, her buffs are crazy for Imp focus. Especially because Imp is probably the most common frontline right now. I think a lot of people will be investing in her and a lot of people will be getting use out of her. If for Imp focus, she's definitely there or there. So definitely a, a good investment. But my general advice, if you're not rolling in the money, not rolling in the epic tokens, is focus on one or two total attack ones. I think Julian and Annie are probably the most accessible to go in every formation and get them to two or three stars and then just run them in every formation because they'll always be good. They'll always get their active ability off no matter the, the troop types that you're running with. So they'll always get maximum value pretty much. The only thing you'll really lose is any spear health if you're running Cav or Imp front, but her stats are so strong it doesn't really matter to be honest. It's just an added bonus if you do run spear front. And there it is. Tier list updated.